forecast here. Let's see what the week has in store for your love life. Let's see. So Aries, what does the week have in store for your love life? Okay. We have King of uh, the one, Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Slow moving energy that's reliable, don't underestimate, but very slow moving. Oh wow, okay. Uh, somebody who's not taking, who's decided not to move forward with passion, somebody who is considering their movements, they seem to think that, that the best way to have a victory is to withdraw passion. Um, they're all in their head, though, about it. It's, they're not really sure that your love interest is not really sure that that's the right maneuver to make. It does show that they want a reconciliation or, or solve some sort of conflict with you. I'm getting that there's been this conflict there, and um, it shows that they want to resolve that. I'm also getting that they're in their head about it. It's a source of great worry and concern. Um, they know that the relationship isn't moving forward, but they're also not pushing it forward. The Magician card means that they want to manifest something. They want to do it quickly with the Eight of Wands card. Let's see. Let's keep going. They want to do it quickly with you. The Devil card, they feel restricted. Something's holding them back. Something's tying them down. Uh, it shows that they feel really like they can't get away, and it looks like from another person. And this isn't an energy that's necessarily now. This looks like an energy, it's an energy that they're imagining. It's in their head, it's not really real, because we all know that everybody can just decide not to do devil activity. Devil is obsession. You know, it's an obsession with feeling as though you have to do things a certain way. It's like feeling like you have to control situations there's depression here. Okay, let's see how the week ends. Lover's card, oh nice. Lover's card comes out. The lover's card is making a choice. It is making a choice. So that's, I really like that energy. So let's take a look for Aries now. Um, let's clarify some of these cards for Aries. So let's see what we have here. Aries, okay. So, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who really, who does want to resolve the problem, but no, doesn't act impulsively. There's a lot of conflict here. Uh, the person is really fighting internally about whether to be passionate with you. Uh, what's interesting to me is that it's a masculine energy, pretty much aimed towards a feminine Aries. Uh, could be cross watchers, could be the reverse, but it shows that they're they're very conflicted about taking the passion out of the relationship. This person feels very much that if they don't sort of give you sex, <laughs> if they don't give you sex, that it's actually going to create more conflict and confusion. But it also is, they feel as though you might go off and find a different lover. They feel as though they wouldn't necessarily be victorious with you in the relationship. And they want a victory. They clearly want a victory. Um, it also shows the world card. They're not finished with the relationship. When we look at the world card, this person, this love interest, has not achieved in the relationship what they had come to the relationship hoping to achieve. What they think that has, what they think they they created was a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion that's been very damaging. When actually there should have been much more stability. Um, you know, it shows that this person would sort of leave you emotionally for periods of time, which also caused confusion for you. You know, you felt like there were many times that you felt abandoned or like the person wasn't interested. And that really was never true. That was that was the illusion they were trying to give. Um, so the the temperance card is the card that indicates that they want stability. They want the commitment. They want the stability. Um, so that's, you know, that's stable, steady energy. They feel as though some changes have to be made. They do feel as though there are a lot of competing priorities in this situation. 
you know, that one's really tough because it's like, okay, how do I do it? What do I do? So let's see what that Five of Wands means. Why is the Five of Wands there? Why is the Five of Wands in Aries reading? Why is the Five of Wands in Aries reading? Why is the Five of Wands in Aries reading? Because they want to move forward quickly, but it looks as though there are children involved, and it looks as though they... They have love, they want to return to the past, but they want to make sure that there's some, that it looks like they have children and that although the relationship with you is what they want, they feel tied down to, to the children. Okay, so let's look. It doesn't really say that the person is married to another, but it's still possible. The reason I say the person doesn't may not be married to the to the uh, mother of the children is that we have the Knight of Pentacles twice. So this is energy that says it's a bachelor. Now we find that we get bachelor cards whenever we have a marriage that isn't functioning properly. People feel so disconnected. So that's very possible that that could be the case. It also shows that the competition might be that. Uh, this person who is single with you, acting in a single mode, wants to manage to keep a marriage together for the sake of the children. So there's a lot of worry here. Interestingly enough, again, no third party, no three of swords energy here. So the love in that marriage is pretty much a thing of the past. It's mostly conflict. Uh, so I'd like to see cards. Give us confirmation that this person is married to another that the person even emotionally married to another. Uh, give, us, give us confirmation about the uh, Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords? There's no clarity. It's a lack of clarity. Uh, this person really is worried that they've been, you know, deceitful or dishonest with themselves. You know, that they have no clarity about any of this. Okay, let's see. Why is the Magician card here? Why is the Magician card here? Why is the Magician card here? Oh, because, oh wow, this person wants rapid movement, rapid passion, rapid movement. They want to break this stagnant feeling with the, um, the, the Devil card. They want to break through the chains that are keeping them from their lover. So let's see. Okay, so what does the Eight of Wands mean? Why is the Eight of Wands here? 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 Why is this Eight of Wands here? Okay. Oh, they want to make an offer of love. They want to come in quickly with an offer of love. We have three cards that fell out of the deck here. The, the situation is that this person wants to have a new journey and come back to a reconciliation with Aries, like to, to make things right. Oh, here we go. Okay. So what happen, what's happening here is what I'm seeing is that the relationship or the marriage or the three-party, there is a three-party situation. And it shows that the person who's in here appearing as this bachelor, every card is a knight. We have the knight of wands, the knight of cups, the knight of pentacles. So that shows a person who never wanted to be married. And it, but it also shows a person who does not want to hurt the person they married who did somewhere along the way become a friend. And they know that this person doesn't ever expect them to leave with the tower card, but they're gonna to have to tower card this to get out. It shows that there's depression here, that they wanna sneak away from home. I'm getting that, I'm getting the Seven of Cups, there, there's more nefarious activity, more visiting the lover. So that's Aries, that's you. Um, and it shows that right now, they don't want to tower card, they don't wanna just break this to the other person. Let's see why they uh, want to just be sneaky. Why do they just want to be sneaky? What is it about the situation that makes them just want to be sneaky? Judgment card. They have to make a decision right away if they aren't sneaky and they feel as though that's, this person feels as though his manly duties uh, would be violated if he gets, uh, you know, the, the judgment card. Like, oh, 
Like they have to make a decision and be responsible if I'm not sneaking around. Why is the lover's card here? Why is the lover's card here? Why is the lover's card here? The death card, oh wow. This person wants a rebirth of this relationship with you, Aries. The justice card, they want to be fair with you. They want to be fair and honest. They're really afraid of dying, this relationship dying off. I'm getting the hanged man though. Again, hesitancy, lots of hesitancy. Let's see, so what's the outcome for you for the week? What's the outcome for our Aries for the week? Ah, okay. Outcome for Aries for the week, I'm gonna put this over here, is no big changes and the Ten of Cups. The person will profess love to you. There is a message of love when they're with you, when they get over here. They are at least going to tell you that they don't know what they can do about it, but they are going to say that they always want you to know that they've loved you and loved you for a long time. Actually, they've loved you for almost a year. We're at 10 months here. Your relationship looks like it didn't start, um, started about eight months ago. So Aries, that's what I'm seeing for you. So this week, there's no big changes. Also, I, I'm seeing that Aries, you really do know a lot about what's going on. You're, you really know the score here. Uh, you don't know what this person will decide, but you, you do understand the dynamics at hand. It does show that you're very nurturing, you're very kind, you're very loving. It shows that you feel as though you've been brought into an unfair situation. Uh, however, you don't want to give up on this. You want to hold on. Yeah, this is a value to you. It shows that you do not want to miss this opportunity to perhaps have more with this person who loves you. Eight of coins, money be damned. So that's an interesting, you know, you've invested already. If you give up now, you'd lose your whole investment. And the three of wands indicates you're willing to hang on and wait for a better future. It does show intuitively that you know that there is a future. It shows that um, you'll be patient. Also shows that you understand that this person fights with his feminine a lot, that he can be very cold to her, that it's a very painful relationship for him. Seven of Pentacles, you're not really satisfied with what's happened so far. Um, but for right now, you love them. So Aries, that's it for right now. That's what I see for this week coming up. Irish Donna, thanks.